السلام علیکم یونیورسل موٹرز آر کیپیبل آف رننگ بوتھ ود اے سی وولٹیجز ایز ویل ایز ود ڈی سی وولٹیجز اینڈ دیز موٹرز ہیو ویری ہائی اسٹارٹنگ ٹارک اینڈ دیئر فور دیز آر یوٹیلائزڈ ان سم ہوم اپلائنسز ویئر یو نیڈ ہائی اسٹارٹنگ ٹارکس ان ٹو ڈیز لیکچر وی شیل اسٹڈی دی ورکنگ آف یونیورسل موٹرز بیسیکلی یونیورسل موٹرز آر ڈی سی سیریز موٹرز یو ریمبر دیٹ آ ڈی سی موٹر کانسٹس آف اسٹیٹر اینڈ آن دی اسٹیٹر یو ہیو پولز ود کروڈ پول فیسز سو یو ہیو اے اسٹیٹر ود کروڈ پول فیسز ماؤنٹیڈ آن ایٹ دیز پولز کین بی پرمنٹ میگنیٹ ان کیس آف پرمنٹ میگنیٹ ڈی سی موٹرز فار ادر موٹرز دیز آر الیکٹرو میگنیٹس ود فیلڈ وائنڈنگس آن دیز الیکٹرو میگنیٹس and uh, the sense of windings makes one of these poles as the north pole and the other one as south pole so on uh, these uh, electromagnets you have field windings and a rotor of dc motors is a cylindrical rotors with rotor windings on it uh, these uh, rotor coils are connected to commutator segments and there is an arrangement of these commutator segments and brushes through this arrangement uh, current through the external voltage uh, source flows into these windings uh, you are also remember the equivalent electrical circuit of uh, these uh, uh, dc motors uh, the field windings can be simply represented uh, with uh, resistance of these coils and then to represent these coils we have this inductance uh, this was denoted by rf and this is lf the equivalent circuit for a rotor Uh, in the rotor there is uh, a back emf induced in the rotor this rotor which is also called armature for dc motors that is represented by a voltage source ea and the resistance of armature windings so uh, this is equivalent electrical circuit of a dc motor there are several different arrangements to connect these field windings and armature windings to the external voltage source in case if uh, this is uh, both uh, the field winding and armature windings are supplied with uh, separate voltage sources that we remember is called separately excited dc motor in case when these windings field windings are placed over here and are supplied with the same voltage source uh, this kind of motor is called shunt uh, dc motor and in case of series dc motor which we uh, want to discuss in today's lecture these field windings are placed in series with uh, this armature windings and both are supplied with the same voltage source that is the equivalent electrical circuit of a series dc motor that is given by this diagram remember that these diagrams only show the electrical connections you know the physical placement of these coils and these coils in the motor these coils are on the electromagnets and this thing ra and ea that represents this rotor windings rotor circuit remember that there are certain differences in the construction of dc series motors and uh, these the c shunt motors what are those differences here what we can see is that the same armature current flows through the armature winding as well as through the field windings this armature current is generally high so to produce an mmf uh, which is given by this relation here if is the same as ia in case of series dc motors and since this current is very high so you need a less number of turns on the field windings for the case of series dc motors over here this field current is small and therefore uh if you have shunt dc motor then you will need more number of turns on the field windings additionally there are losses in the field windings there is resistance of field windings and here ia is very large so we have to ensure that this rf is small that is you need to use thick wire over here uh the losses since the current is small so you can even use thin wire uh, with a high resistance that will still have smaller losses so this motor can work with both ac and dc quantities and this is not capable of running at dc and ac quantities 
what is the reason? Do you remember that uh, there is a torque induced in the motor and that torque for DC motors we have derived these relations that depends upon flux in the machine and that also depends upon the armature current and uh, what we can see is that the direction of induced torque will be reversed if direction of current is reversed similarly direction of induced torque will also reverse if the direction of flux is changed what will happen if both of them are changed simultaneously if both of them the direction of flux and direction of current is changed then the direction of induced torque will remain the same so what happens in uh, DC series motors is that the same current armature current flows in the field windings therefore as soon as this IA direction of IA is reversed the same will be the case for uh, phi uh, so uh, that is induced torque will remain unidirectional so even if this motor is supplied with AC voltage the direction of induced torque will remain unidirectional so if I sketch the waveforms for uh, armature current and flux uh, we have uh, this situation this is uh, the time axis and uh, this is current armature current IA which is also the field current and then this will be the flux for the case of DC series motor both of them change their direction at the same time instant and uh, therefore their product which is induced torque that is unidirectional although induced torque is pulsating in magnitude but it is uh, unidirectional what will happen in shunt DC motors the induced torque is not unidirectional uh, because field current is not in phase with armature current for example you will have uh, this situation for uh, this uh, shunt DC motor so field current and armature current these are not in phase uh, because the inductive reactance for both the paths that is different and hence flux and armature current these are not in phase and therefore the induced torque which is product of flux and armature current that is not unidirectional therefore these motors are not capable of running at AC voltages whereas series DC motors are capable of running with AC voltages as well so what is the comparison of uh, the working of this DC motor when it is supplied with AC voltage source and when it is uh, supplied with DC voltage source so when this motor is connected with AC voltage source then the process of commutation is poor uh, compared to uh, that when it is connected with uh, DC voltage source. There, when it is connected with AC voltage source, there will be more sparking at the commutator segments. Uh, another difference is uh, the torque speed characteristics. The torque speed characteristics of this universal motor, when it is uh, operated uh, with DC quantities, that is, these are torque speed characteristics of uh, series DC motor, which is also universal motor, when it is connected with DC voltage source. Here on this axis we have uh, induced torque and here we have the speed of the motor. And when the same motor is connected with the uh, AC voltage source then we have uh, these torque speed characters. That is for a given load uh, the speed of the motor will be smaller when it is operated with uh, AC voltage sources. What is reason? reason is that when this is DC voltage then there is a no voltage drop across this inductive reactance because for DC quantities this behaves as a short circuit however when you uh, apply AC voltage sources there is some voltage drop across this inductive reactance and therefore for a given uh, this input voltage EA that will be smaller for uh, AC voltages 
compared to that when you have supplied DC voltages. So you remember that EA that is given by K5 into omega. That means for a given voltage, uh, this EA will be smaller when this is AC voltage. Smaller EA means smaller uh, speed of rotation of motor. So these are uh, differences uh, for this motor when it is operated with uh, AC and when it is operated with DC quantities. Uh, as far as uh, physical construction is concerned, uh, for the universal motor, this uh, uh, stator should also be laminated because here uh, you have uh, changing current, changing flux that will link with the stator as well and uh, uh, there will be high losses uh, due to hysteresis and uh, eddy currents if this is not laminated. So we not only laminate the rotor but we also laminate the stator of a universal motor. So what we observe from this uh, torque speed characteristics of universal motor is that these motors have high starting torque. Therefore, uh, these motors are generally used in uh, certain home appliances where you need high starting torques. For example, in uh, juicer machines uh, and uh, likewise uh, in other certain other machines uh, where you require high starting torque, these universal motors are utilized. So this concludes our uh, course on electrical machines. Uh, we have uh, covered almost all important uh, topics of electrical machines. Uh, we have studied the working of transformers. Uh, we discussed working of DC motors and DC generators. And uh, then we also talked about uh, synchronous motors and synchronous generators. We also discussed uh, three-phase induction motors and single-phase induction motors. And then we discussed some special uh, purpose motors as well. And uh, I, ha I hope to see you again uh, in your 7th uh, semester in the course of Linear Control Systems.